All right, so as I mentioned in the other video, we fully updated the top navigation theme to work in both version one and version two of the sidebar. And it does not matter which one your people choose, it will work perfectly. So I'm gonna give you a demo of that and also show you some of the themes and how it all works and everything. All right, so this is what the new top navigation theme looks like. And um, I love the way it sort of uses the things that High Level put into it, but puts it all the way up into the top navigation theme. So we've got, you know, the go to agency and the settings area over here on the top right. And when you go to the settings area, we've got the titles that they put in there, which I thought was a great idea. Um, and quick actions pops up correctly. Everything works and acts as you would expect with a top navigation theme. Um, and of course, um, drop down menus and all that. If you have them built in the toolkit, will work as well in this, in this version. So that's what it looks like. Now, what if someone wants to choose version one randomly? It will automatically just swap out and use version one. And I'll show you what the same exact theme looks like on version one. Now I'm going to do a little program thing to get it to switch over because I don't want to wait for to logging in and line, logging out. All right, so this is what it looks like on version one. And you'll see we've got all the same drop downs. It's slightly different. It's got the menu on the very top, um, but everything else works as it should. And um, it just, it'll swap back and forth. It doesn't matter which one your people choose. It'll look good and it'll have your custom menus. Now, one other thing I was gonna point out is that there are a bunch of themes for the top navigation um, that you can choose from. And all you do is you just copy that uh, link up there and pop it into Magic CSS over here, like so, and change it like this and you'll be able to see it live and choose the one that you want. If there's something that you want to change, um, you can change those just by literally just taking the content of this and placing it in here instead of the um, pre-made theme that we've got here like this. And then you can just, you know, pick and select what you want your colors to be and uh, use this as a starting point, but you can choose whatever you want here. Um, so like that, just change that up there. Um, so the last thing to note is that we're now using this import rule so that you don't have to worry about copying and pasting and doing stuff as high level changes. We'll just fix it all behind the scene. So. What that means for you is that it's very similar to the way you've been doing it before, but the main thing to know is that all import rules have to be at the very top and no other code in between them. That means that you cannot do an import rule up here and then put an import rule down here. Anything um, in between, and that import rule, so this rule right here will be ignored basically. So that will cause unex unexpected things to happen. So just know that all of these rules have to be at the very top of your agency CSS um, in one batch, and then you put all your settings underneath it. So you're gonna have settings for the theme, the, the login theme and the top nav theme, and whatever else you wanna do. All the imports go at the top, variables, then go down at the bottom. So um, <laughs> this is what it looks like when it doesn't reload, but it will automatically reload when, when you've got things set up. So you don't have to worry about that. So there you go. If you guys have any problems, of course, always reach out to me and uh, I will be there to help you out. Yeah.